correct and sure ways to fend off the datotsu of your opponent, by using your shinai or by moving your body. Whichever way you choose, judge the direction and speed of your opponent's datotsu. This develops nukiwaza, the ability to evade and counterattack in one movement. Kirikaeshi is the integrated practice method for combining frontal, left and right strikes at the men in a continuous movement. This practice method is also called Uchikaeshi and is important for advanced students and beginners alike. Begin with a frontal men's strike, then four continuous strikes to the left and right while moving forward and another five while moving backwards. Finish with a frontal men's strike from the Chuda no Kamae after taking the required Ma. Make the left and right strikes at an angle of about 45 degrees, beginning with a strike to the left. Finish with a frontal men's strike after taking sufficient Ma, then repeat the exercise. It's important for beginners to practice correctly with slow and exaggerated movements, rather than with speed. Always end with a strike to the left of the men. Here are some common beginner's mistakes when practicing Kirikaeshi. The left fist is not high enough above the head. Most of the time no contact is being made with the men. What's wrong here is the use of Ayumiyashi. The left fist is also out of line with the center of the body when he makes the frontal men strike. This is the correct way to do kirikaishi. Keep your left fist level with the pit of your stomach when you strike down. Don't tense up your shoulders. Don't move your body up and down more than necessary. Practice kirikaishi with your spirit, holding your breath as long as you can. Be sure to maintain the correct form of stroke. Kirikaishi helps develop the right posture, stroke, footwork, interval and timing, as well as breathing. You'll also be able to build a strong body and spirit. Eventually, you'll achieve Kiken Tai Ichi no Datotsu, full synchronization of movement when striking. The Motodachi should move back and forth during Kirikaishi while receiving his partner's strokes. For a beginner, provide a receptive pose, so he'll find it easier to strike you. For an advanced partner, strike his shinai downwards. Place your left fist at the height of your waist. Be sure that your fists are not too high. The motodachi must ensure that his partner's left fist is raised above his head. Also check the angle of his strikes. It should be about 45 degrees. Furthermore, check the position of his left fist and shinai when he delivers his frontal men's strike. Here, the left fist is too low and he's too close. Therefore, he's striking the metal ribs of the men. This time, the left fist is too high and he's striking the men in the wrong manner. Point out to your partner the mistakes beginners tend to make and teach him the correct technique. A good motodachi greatly helps improve the techniques of his partner. Therefore it's strongly recommended you thoroughly practice the receiving technique. No matter how good your striking technique, 
Datotsu without Zanshin doesn't count. It's therefore important to instruct beginners to assume Zanshin when practicing fundamental strokes. Kendo is vigorous hand-to-hand -hand combat with offensive and defensive moves. Let's see how to apply the fundamental techniques you've already learned. Combat techniques are classified as shikakewaza, attacking moves, or ojiwaza, parry and counterattack. The basis of shikakewaza is ippouchi, the single stroke. Strike the men from isoku itonomai using fumikomiyashi, then adopt zanshin. Strike sharply and directly at the kote of your opponent from toimai using fumikomiyashi. Don't focus only on your opponent's kote, but watch his whole body. Be sure to strike with the correct posture. The moment your opponent raises his arms, strike his door with a large stride. When striking, direct the blade of your shinai at the door. This is ski, thrust not only by extending your arms, but also by using your whole body. Immediately after your thrust, draw back your shinai and return to the chudan posture with zanshin. This is haraiwaza. When your opponent is on guard, you're unable to attack. Unbalance his posture by brushing off his shinai to the side or striking it downward diagonally. You'll then have an opportunity to strike. This is Harai Men. The left side of your shinai is called Omote, the face, and the right side, Ura, or rear. When you make a Harai Men strike, diagonally brush your opponent's shinai upward and then deliver a blow. This is Harai Gote. Make a sharp strike with a snap of your wrist. The Harai Waza consists of a series of actions, starting from brushing off your opponent's shinai, swinging overhead, and then striking down. This is the Harai Men strike that's delivered when your opponent's Kensen is held low. Brush his shinai downward and then deliver the blow. When you strike your opponent, he concentrates on the point you've stricken, leaving him off guard elsewhere. Catching your opponent off guard enables you to deliver continuous strikes to other unguarded targets. This type of attack is known as the Nidan, two-step, or Sandan, three-step continuous technique. This is Kote Men, a blow to the Kote, followed by one to the men. When you're a beginner, practice continuous and accurate strikes at both targets. <laughs> 